end-of-period adjustments are either a deferral or an accrual adjustment, and each of these two involves revenues and expenses. We have a deferred expense when a company makes a payment in advance of its related future expense. The cash payment is recorded first, but the recognition of its related expense is deferred till the company receives the service, only then can the company recognize the expense. Advance rent payment made by the lessee is not a rent expense till the lessee uses the leased apartment for the rent period, only then can the lessee recognize the rent expense. We have deferred revenue when the company receives cash in advance of its related future revenues. The cash received in advance is recorded first, but the recognition of its related revenue is deferred till the company renders the service to its customer, only then can the company recognize the revenues. The cash received by the travel agency from sales of air tickets is not revenue until the customers fly to their destinations, only then can the travel agency recognize the revenues from sales of air tickets. We have an accrued expense when a company incurs an expense before the payment for this expense is made. The incurred expense is recorded first, then the cash payment for that expense is recorded later when it is paid. An employee comes to work every day for his company, and as he keeps working, the salary expense keeps accruing to the employee. At the month end, an adjusting entry is made to recognize the salary's expense that accrued to the employee during the month, then the payment of this salary is recorded later when it is paid. We have accrued revenue when a company earns revenues before collecting that revenue. The earned revenue is recorded first then the cash collection from this revenue is recorded later when it is collected. A company signed a contract to provide services for a period of three months. The service fees will be collected at the end of the third month. As the company keeps providing the service during the contract period, revenue keeps accruing to the company. At the end of each month, an adjusting entry is made to recognize the revenue that accrued to the company during the month then the collection of cash is recorded later when it is received from the customer at the end of the contract period. Let us see some examples for each category in the following few lectures.